were mostly in kind of a, a certain kind of survival mode that got stuck in that groove. Yeah. And so it was kind of like, <laughs> we need to kind of do something where we can stay like we are. Yeah, there wasn't anything really bad going on that we weren't really fighting or arguing so much, but there was definitely like a lot of passing like ships in the night and um, really taking a lot of our own space, but not connecting a lot. The workshop with Gal and Leroy really gave us the, the space to kind of unpack some of our unconscious patterns. Um, a few days after the workshop, we had a little episode where I approached you and I mean, it was very small, but I approached you kind of more quickly than you like. And, and then once you were uh, turning toward me, then I had moved away. It was just this really minor thing, but we would do it all the time before the workshop and not think about it. And this time we really um, stopped to work through like how you were feeling, how I was feeling, what was going on for both of us. And I felt maybe for the first time in a long time that I really had the emotional space and lightness to just be with you as we were talking about this rather than just sort of running away from the conversation. Uh, it was really valuable just to take that moment. I think the workshop really gave us the space to, and not just the space to do it, but the faith that it was helpful. Mm -hmm. Understanding it was really a good thing for us. Yeah. <clears throat> I think in what he's talking about, it allowed me to feel vulnerable because it was a very old pattern. And so it was nice to kind of understand the patterns that are underneath what that was for me, which was really about abandonment because he'd come close and then he'd go away when I was just starting to be like, oh, you're here. And then I'd be like, well, where'd you go? And I have to say that I felt a lot braver. It was like, I actually was aware of what I was feeling. I was able to stop and check in. And then I was able to voice it where normally I wouldn't, I would don't know if I'd be cognizant to the point where I'd be like, oh, that's what's happening. And to also stop and say, this, this is my experience and to be able to share it. Because I think normally I would just kind of be like, okay, there that is again, and go on with my day and kind of feel sadness. It's helped me in my relationship with my daughter and it's helped me with uh, navigating friends. Yeah, not just your spouse, but friends and kids and yeah, parents. I'm definitely used to doing groups in person. Um, I really liked actually being online. We were at home, it was comfortable. We knew where everything was. And because the days weren't super, super long, you know, they were, they were long, but they were so manageable that at the end we were right here, we could take a walk, you know, um, it was, it felt really comfortable. And then in the breakout rooms, we were really able to work one-on-one -on -one with assistants uh, and, and get, uh, deeper into what we were working on. It was actually really comfortable, you know, and actually the, the coziness made it easier to, to actually go into the process and even the scary parts. I found the somatic, the, the body, the connection of the body and the emotions and the, the thought processes, those processes to be really helpful. I liked it being on Zoom. I liked being home. And I also feel like um, when you're in a group, for me, because I am so somatically based, I'm always reading everybody in the room. And mm -hmm. the big thing that comes up for me is, am I safe? Mm -hmm. And so I actually really liked kind of this little bit of separation <clears throat> being in my own space because it was a less of a distraction. I felt like I was really able to do this it, more comfortably. The skills, they're great. We, you know, we were lucky to have some of these distinctions and skills early in our marriage. I, I would recommend it for people before marriage uh, so that they're really going in ready for the changes that marriage brings. I'd recommend it for newlyweds because the first honeymoon phase does pass or can pass. And I, we've been married for more than 20 years. It was great for us. Um, I think it really is good for everybody. The, the skills and distinctions and understandings go for everybody at any stage of life. Uh, and I think are, the earlier you get them, the stronger your relationship will be for the long term. Yeah. Also, the fact that I've referred folks to you already, like it, it's been really easy to say, go to the couple center. You know, this is really a good thing. Mm -hmm. And I would just say uh, the same as Daniel's saying, I think it's great for anybody, but I also really recognized in watching other couples, like I wish we'd done this when we'd first had our daughter, maybe not right away, but <clears throat> I can see how much shifting happens then that it would have been a really great support 
during that transitional time. And yeah, I think I think it's something you should do for your anniversary every other year. <laughs> it's a good gift to yourself. <laughs>